it's playtime. Oh, first of all, first of all, Christmas is over. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna try to tell a little bit on how it was and everything in between. Um, but first, so this is my first pile, my first page. I don't know the order, but I do have two other piles. And I just gathered all the things that I want to use. I even made a few of these ribbon embellishments extra. I split the epoxy embellishment. Um, I have some little butterflies, but I still have quite a lot. I have the words, well, everything I gathered. I am gonna put in this box so I don't lose them. And then I can start with my first page. Yay! Love that. Alright, put everything in. Because we're first going to start with the other stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to put this away. That's my little box, my first box. I do have two other piles. Um, Alright. So this is my page, which is still boring without anything. So let's just start. Let's give it a go. Um, I decorate only the front because we still I'm gonna, still going to do that um, with something. I must confess that I need and I use an extra beige stripe to decorate this and an extra wet one but at the end I will tell you everything about it now first thing what I like to do is the edges I don't like the edges how they are looking right now so first I'm gonna try to do all at once see how that looks it looks so much better in my opinion so you don't have to smooch every single page. You can, of course, but you don't need to. This also looks nice. But you can. You can, if you like, to give them all an extra smooch. Totally up to you. If you like to smooch this a little bit more. But if you are satisfied on how it looks already, then that's... Fine. All right, I think I go for this one. It looks pretty good to me. Because I know if I <laughs> if I like to do these all, then I would like to do them all. Ah, it's just my bad habit. I just love to smooch edges. I really do. It doesn't have to be neat, of course. But it makes it so much nicer. Don't you agree with me that? I just mentioned this I would love to start with this one what I had planned for this I'm gonna go out my ribbons um, which one do I like to use for this um, so we do a small one Oh, this one. I'm gonna go with the small one with this color. 
All right, but you can choose, of course, we do have plenty of ribbons to use. <laughs> All right, but I'll go for this one. Wait for this, this, this page right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, how far do we need this? Well, I'm gonna cut four inch, something like that. And I do need two. All right, that's the first thing. All right, cool. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some double-sided tape on these two edges. Which two edges are those? On these two edges. All right, so if you lay these down, then on these edges we need some double-sided tape. Alright, how much do we need um, in between? I think something about a half inch. So, if you put these... Um, I like to have these equal. Let's say... One and a half. Something like that, one and a half. Yeah, I think one and a half, that will do. All right, so I will keep these straight, possible as I can. And then one and a half, about, about one and a half, okay? Then I'm just gonna place my ribbons in between. Place another double sided tape over it so it's nice and secure. Alright, and this is the plan. Um, we need, of course, some um, decoration at the back. Um, I don't know exactly which paper, but maybe just a plain one. But you can do that anytime later but for now i'm just gonna do this one you also can use some leftover uh, coffee dyed paper if you like or you can use just design paper anything you like you can um, also give this a little leather look a leather look well, that's, that sounds a little odd, but I know a letter from to wheat, a letter to wheat, so you can make stripes on here if you like. But for now, I think I just go for this. But that's totally up to you. You also can use another color. Let me use for this one this color, just to give you the an idea what to do with the back. Just grab a piece of paper and you can do anything on it. I showed you earlier that we can do so much with just a simple ink or another color. If you have stamps, you can decorate as many as you like. You can draw on it. So many options. So many options. That you can break a page as nice as you can. I also still have these ones left. Let me show you real quick. that you can create so many nice things with very little. Here we go. 
super easy as you can see and if you now make a little um, I call that a little line right here for example if you like For example, just a really simple and if you have something small, here we go. See, and you don't have to use much, but it is nice. At least I think it's nice. Alright, so um, you can do the other page. Um, you also can use the same method that we did with the tags. If you want to draw something or make some lines or stripes or whatever with some pencils. Check if you are straight. You not glue this down upside down. Here we go, especially here with the tape, push it down, the good as you can. Alright, now how are we going to embellishment this one? Well, you can use anything that you have guys. In the junk journal there are no rules whatsoever. No rules. And since you know that I use every little piece, you know that by now. go super cute here we go make it And of course you don't need to use a stamp, um, you also can use a little butterfly or something. I always like to, or why not just use this. Then I'll pull, yeah, I just pull out this, oh, I'm just going to use the glue. It's supposed to be a sticker, but I pull too hard or something. So I'm just going to use the glue. Make it nice with just easy little things. I glue it on and then these are ready. Now you were thinking, hmm, what in the world she's gonna do with that? 
but I'm gonna lay these in between some pages. At least that's the meaning, that's, that was the plan. I don't know if it works, but that is the plan! <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. That's it. Super cool. All right, now the meaning is I'm going to show you real quick what the meaning is with this. Let's say I like it in between here. I'm just going to lay this inside and then I'm going to close it down. Then you will have this little pocket right here super cool and you can open it and put some stuff inside yeah super cool <laughs> yes it is cool so that's the plan that we're gonna put inside i don't know just where but that's the plan all right where's my box where's my box all right next next what we can put inside Guys, so I gathered some of these uh, paper cake under things that you can put these under a cake, um, and I really, I really like the big ones. So I, um, what I did is just fold this in half, and what? How does it look if I just put this also in between? something like this and then we just cut down the excess just want to show you how it will look all right something to see where the excess is I think it looks amazing at least let me try Cutting this off, you still can use it for decoration if you like. There we go. Now, what I don't like is this. Cut this a little nicer. All right, so let's see how it will look. And you can color this if you like. See, that looks nice, doesn't it? So if you flip through your album, how cool is this? I really like it. Yeah, and you even can glue down here and here. Then you have a little tuck spot for a secret leather or something. That's also an idea, but you don't need to. You don't need to. You also can glue down something on here and make a little pocket. Also a possibility. But I really like this. Super cool. Um, you can color this if you like. Um, Actually, I want to see how that works. Just give me a second to try that out. And you can have so much fun, guys, with just some little stuff going on. Okay, I'm gonna try to be as gentle as possible. Pretty well, and if you don't 
If you only do one side, that's plenty, but wow, I love it. Yeah, it's cool. Alright, so I'm gonna do the other side. Um, you still can use another color if you like, but I'm just gonna go with pink. And then I'll make the other ones in another color. Alright, super cool. <laughs> another great way of use what you have is your leftovers and an envelope. Alright, so here's the deal. Just glue down. Some pieces that you have left. And you also can use um, these envelopes for later. You don't have to do that right away. Because we still have plenty to do. So plenty of leftover pieces we are going to gather. But if you like to do it now. Just some leftover pieces. There we go. Alright, and then this is the last. One on the other side. Now I do one and I think I will do the other ones when I'm a little further on the page, but just to show you. So much with so little. Here we go. You still can smudge it a little bit. See, and now you even can put a nice word or an image or tag on it to you even can use for example but I think I just go for a nice word Now where do we want this? Today, tomorrow, always. Where do we want it? Alright, now that's the back. I really like it. Super cool, super easy. Yeah, super cool. And now at the, this side we also can use um, yeah, you also can use this one if you like. Fits nice, but I also can use maybe a smaller one. For example, possible. This one I tear a little because it's so difficult to split these, but so 
So if you do that, you don't have to throw it away just completely. All right, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna just glue down Don't think too difficult. Now let's see what do I like to cut off. Definitely this part. this one down. I think I like it better. Yes. This I like better. This is cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. I have a little bit that's loose. You just can glue it on. I might go for another one so the front matches with the back, or or just something inside. So it matches a little bit more for the back. Here we go. Just have fun guys. Just sit back, grab a nice cup of doing that you prefer. Here we go. It can be that easy. Yes it can. Now the meaning is with the page, and we can do this later. Um, for example, you can just add this on here, and then you still have a nice tuck spot, and then you flip it over, and then you have a nice extra pocket. So that's the meaning that we're going to do with these envelopes. I really like it. Super cool. Yeah, all right, so that's the meaning. Um, of course, we can decorate right here also a bit. Maybe we just a little bit more of these. You know, if I once started, I can't stop. <laughs> I don't want to throw anything away of these. Makes it a little bit nicer, I guess. I 
once you have them. Why not use them? Yeah, I like it. So what do you think on decorating these envelopes? I really like it. All right, so I'm just gonna adapt a little blue right here. You like it or what? I like it. Super cool. All right, so that's um, also a thing, but maybe we can do that later. So all right, so here we have another thing to add on. Now for the pages, so we I still have two, um, which I'm going to decorate later with the leftover pieces. Um, so what else? What else can we do with these pages? Maybe, just maybe, it's a good idea to um, to do the cover first. And then I definitely know how much I have left. Yeah, it's, it's just a thing, guys. I am so terrified <laughs> that I have not... Um, that I will miss some... Um, even that I printed these out, I am so... Uh, yeah, I'm crazy. But, um, and I still don't know exactly what I want to make with um, the cover. But if I made the cover, then I know exactly what I have left. and can make, uh, and can use these a little bit for pockets or, or whatsoever. So maybe, just maybe, it's a good idea to just uh, make the, the cover first. Oh my gosh, I jump from here to there. I know. <laughs> I know! Oh my gosh! But is there a good way to make these? I don't... I don't know. It's just to jump from here and there. So what I'm gonna do... Um, let me just... Oh my gosh, I hope I don't miss everything up. Okay. Yeah, here goes all my... I just need another tray. For my second. All right, I'll come back to you guys uh, once I <laughs> sorted these all out. Up, I only have two trays, but I need to gather my pages since I all split it all up. And I don't want to lose everything. All right, there it is page two. And now we need to go up page three. And I'll, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you in just a sec. All right, guys, so these are my measurements. First, I wanted to do a two and a half inch spine, but then I thought, mm, maybe it's even better to do a three inch. So we have a little bit more breadth of adding so much in it. All right, so these are my measurements. 14.7 by 21 centimeters. We need that double. And in inches, that's 513. Oh my gosh, wait just a second. Did I make that right? 513 16 by 814 of an inch, also double. Then 7.6 by 21 centimeters. And then in inches, that's 3 by 8 one fourth of an inch. Only once. That's for the spine. All right, so these are the measurements that I'm going to need for my spine. So like I told you first, I thought a 2 inch. That's why I made this line. But if you now, and there was nothing in it. See? That's already pretty thick. So I definitely wanted to make it a little larger so that's why the three inch all right so let's grab some uh, basic black i'm gonna use wrap it all up and then i'll come back to you so first i'm gonna grab my black i need some space that was always such a mess but that's normal on a desk need we need we need 
plenty of space right here. Use it all. Have to clean it up a little bit. Move it around. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Let's grab some black. Let's see how this, of course, does not fit. So I am <coughs> going to cut my pages a little shorter. Let's say one inch here and one inch there. It's, it's about, it's about, it does not have to be perfect. How many do we need? Let me see. Okay, two. Yeah, we, mm, it's tight, 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 tight. No, I need three. All right, so I definitely need three pages. That means that I'm going to cut these. And another one at the same time, so that they are nice and equal. There we go. You can use some tape if you like. on the last, the last one we do need to cut down a little bit but let's grab the chipboard here we go now the only thing that I don't want is that where I just added my papers that I have them in these grooves. So that's why I'm just gonna start in the middle, adding the glue on. There we go. So I'm gonna start nicely in the middle. So here are my two attachments. So I'm just going to start in the middle. Just stay away. At least four millimeter. This you need the space. There we go. Here we go. Okay. Now we need, of course, this a little shorter. I'm going to use my blade for that. So the glue is nicely attached in my papers. Alright, let's cut the corners. Alright, now the meaning is that you stay away 
at least two millimeters away from the corner. All right, now you can uh, give that, let's say, well, I don't think that this is thick enough. Oh, wait, maybe my leftover chipboard is two millimeters. Well, let's say you don't trust yourself, then just draw a line and just stay two millimeters away from the edge. Okay. Let's go do all the four corners. There we go. Next, what I like to do is add some double-sided tape all the way around. I always do these steps every single time for those who are just watching this video for the very first time or for those who are new to my channel and never made a, um, a cover but for the most of you this is maybe boring but you always can skip it but for those who are just the first time being here I just like to show you every little step that I make. Alright, now what I like to do is if you have a ruler or what you also can use just the fingers, but I like to use a ruler or a bone folder. Just make sure that your paper is nice attached to your chipboard. Alright, just bend it a little bit. You also can use your fingers to do that, but make sure that this is nice and straight. Alright, now I'm just going to push some glue against the chipboard and then this little flap. Yep, I'm going to start in the middle. And then I go to the outside. There we go. Now turn it. Do exactly the same. You can use your finger to do that. You can use a ruler. Make sure you are against the chipboard so there is no air in between. Okay, use some glue against the chipboard, then on the little flap, and start in the middle, and then just move towards you. don't have any bubbles. Next what I like to do is grab a bone folder and just make sure that the glue is nicely attached so you have a nice crispy edge. Do the same thing on the other end. Here we go. Now for the corners. For the corners, we just go around the corner and push it down. Same thing here, around the corner and push it down. And again, grab your ruler or something or your fingers. Make sure that this is nicely bent around that chipboard. And then just glue down the chipboard and the flap. Again, start in the middle and then push it around.
Yep, and then you have a nice crispy end. If there is something that you don't like, then just cut it away. Alright, same thing here. Go around the corner. Same thing here. Go around the corner. This put some glue on. There we go. Push down. Yeah, nice. And I just grab something that's not sharp, guys. My mine bone folder is not sharp, so I can use it. Just bend it. Same thing here. Just bend it. And there you go. There is your cover. Super easy. All right. Alright guys, now I like to try something out. So what I did was um, if I want one inch from here and one inch from here, make a little mark and then I'm just going to use my ribbons and I'm going to cut that piece off. I want to try something. So what if we are going to use the ribbons for our spine? Alright, so I'm just going to see how it will look. Which one I can use. Go with the flow. Oh, I have no idea if this is working because this is pretty small. But we'll see. Maybe a different order or something but I just like to use them all something like this I'm just going to check out how far I am going to go with it because I want to I want to sew these on each other, this in the middle. Something like this. Okay, what do you think? Can I do this? I have no clue. I also have some seam binding, but I think this is nice enough. Shall I move this and do this? Oh, I really like this. The, the butterflies. Alright, so <laughs> now I am not a pro on a needle and thread, but I'm gonna try. Just gonna try how this all works. First, I need to clean my needle. I think 
still has a little glue on it. Alright, um, I'm going to test this out guys. I have no clue what I just told you. I do have no clue. Maybe this takes forever and ever. Maybe it does. <laughs> but I'm just going to try it out and um, what... This is maybe not a good needle for it. And maybe it's even better to do this with your sewing machine. But for those who does not have one, I'm just going to try it out with what I just have. Alright, so I'm going to try out a little bit and when I think I manage something. Ah, then I will let you know what feels I need to try this out all by myself. <laughs> all right, cool. What a mess, what a mess, what a mess. First I tried it with a uh, needle and thread, but was not um, working that well. I do not have that patience. <laughs> so I thought, oh, what the heck, I'm just gonna try it underneath my uh, sewing machine. But, oh my gosh, I'm terrible at my sewing machine as well and um, well I must confess I had I thought a good idea to first add this on some papers and then sew it but yeah of course the tape will not work with the needle so oh my gosh it's just a total disaster so maybe just maybe it's just a better way to just um, add this on a piece of paper uh, with a good glue or tape, I think. So, um, or maybe when this is on with a little uh, sewing with needle and thread, but I just have to go <laughs> um, start all over because this is not working at all. <laughs> all right, guys, I did not give up and I just tried a little with some stitching right here. But, mm, no, I still don't like it. So I'm just gonna try it all over again because I still <laughs> like to use the ribbon. But this I'm just gonna... Undo and then um, I'm gonna see if I can save some of these ribbons. And see what I'm gonna do next because... Like I told you, I still like to use, but this is not working at all. But at least I tried. At least I tried, and that is the most important thing. If you have something in your hat, first try. But I almost spent completely afternoon. <laughs> But okay, that's okay. That's also a thing that belongs to crafting. All right, now let's see if I can save. Oh, this one I did. I can save. Why did I put it on this piece of paper? Well, I thought it would be handful handy, but. It's not. It's not handy at all. Alright. Alright, so I'm coming back to you and I'm saving the best I can and the rest I just can cut again. And then I think I'm just going to use, because the tape <coughs> is really good tape. I think I'm just going to use tape maybe with some fabric glue or something. Something else, but the sewing is not my thing. But still, if you have an idea to do that, please be my guest. But that needle and thread is not my best friend. <laughs> Alright. Now let's see, what can I do then? 
because I still like to use it on the spine. Yep, I am that stubborn. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some tape on it. Close as I can get. I don't know how many, how much, but I think so far. And I'm just going to apply this all the way up. Till I am done. Alright, so I am at the bottom and I'm just going to peel off every single bit. Till they all are off. And... I'm still in the trying out mode, so please do watch first closely before you are going to do the same thing to your album. Maybe I'm messing this all up, but at least I tried. Alright, so I'm going to review all of these. Alright, so what I'm going to do... Just to be sure, I have no clue if this is going to do any good, but at least I tried. So I'm going to add a little glue once a little while. And then I'm just going to apply the ribbons. doesn't have to be much, but I think it's a good idea to just apply a little of fabric glue. If you have that in your stash, that would be perfect. so on and so on till I am all up so yeah you can use your ribbons like this and um, see if you like it now with the lace I really like to see the lace a bit better so what I do It's really a thin layer, guys. Really a thin. Alright, so I'm just gonna eyeball where the lace is gonna be. And then this, I'm just gonna apply this a little up. As you see. So the lace comes out really nice when this lace is a little bit under. Alright guys, so um <laughs> yeah um I think I'm gonna do uh, this exactly the same and then here and then from here I'm going to work on the inside. Alright so now I'm just gonna go up here applying a bit glue Using the green one, I think I have to make sure that I am nicely, yeah, and so on and so on. And of course I messed up a few ribbons so I need to cut down a few more, but that's okay. Make sure you don't glue your 
butterflies upside down. Oh, but okay, but you get the picture. But if you want to stay, oh, this one is actually not that nice any longer. But here we have another one. All right, so the really the fabric glue really as less possible. Really need to smooch it out quite a lot. Same thing here. Need to go with the brown. And with the lace. See how far this is gonna get. And then from here, I'm just gonna use the next ones, which you want to use, of course. All right. Okay, guys. See, with some double-sided tape and some glue, that's way more comfortable and way easier to do that than just with a needle and thread. But if you are having the skills, then please be my guest if you like to sew this, to sew, to sew, sew this. <laughs> but I just used um, fabric tack and uh, some double-sided tape. Um, and then it looks like this. This is the order that I used. Um, so green, green, butterfly, butterfly. Um, which color is this? Aubergine pink, and then some lace, and then uh, some brown. The brown one, the butterfly one, the old pink one, then again, uh, then first the green one, and then to uh, cover up the place that we have left, another lace. And then I have this. Do you like it? I like it after a few hours playing, but yeah, I do like it. And the glue needs to dry, I know, but I like, like, like it. Yep, this one needs to be a little bit more glue. And then put a thing at the end. I hope it will all last nicely yeah right. uh, the lace is because of the Just glue it down on the spots you really like it. That you think that it's needed a little bit extra. Just go in and just glue it down. This will hold pretty well. Okay, now, next. Do we have some time? 
What do we want on the outside? Um, let me check, check, check on which papers that we have left. Let me think about that just a second. Okay guys, I'm going to use this cream color stripe that I added to this because I think it fits so nice to the ribbons. And then I'm going to cut it at five. We still have a nice, nice, um, that you still see this one at, at here, that's, that's the reason. Alright, so, smooch the edges if you like. Okay, um, for this part I really like to use some double sided tape so it will attach a little bit sturdier and better on the edges. And I'm still going to use some glue of course, but... too long. That's the fault of all my stitching. <laughs> So on the ribbons. Go. Um, of course, we are going to use something um, to put this away. Just a small one. which one you like but I'm gonna use my brown one there we go yes a nice finishing touch all right that's my front hope you like it um, for the back, um, what can we use for the back? I was thinking of this one, or even the 
purple one purple would, would be nice too but since I already used quite a lot of colors I'm just going to go for this one to keep it plain alright so the rest is everything the same also I'm going to cut this at 5 inches so I have the same uh, at this one also I'm going to add some ribbon on it and yeah all the things are the same alright <laughs> Alright guys, and then it looks like this. What do you say? I like it. I would like it. It was a nice tryout. Cool. Alright, so far so good. Need to cook my dinner. Um, <laughs> so I'll be back with you maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. See you.